What kind of fights are out there for you? Who would you like to go up against? Who would you like to go up against? Everything that Tyson does is intimidating. Watch him come down. As long as he come down. Boom! He's a monster we know. If he can hit you, he can take your head off. Very risky, yes. Who would you like to go up against? God is in control of the ball. I stepped out on faith. And here we go. My ego's with me and I'm saying, thank you, fly, huh? You ain't shit. Look. The amateur getting here, kick your ass. You better get on top of your game. You wanna get embarrassed in front of these people? Then the other ego say, fuck you. And watch what I'm gonna do. Man, we're here, Tyson Ranch. About to meet the legend. I'm a little nervous, you know. I've watched Mike growing up. So uh, it's been an amazing training camp. I've gotten 10 times better. I'm excited to put on a show and really prove to the world that I'm not just like this YouTube celebrity, that I'm a real pro boxer. We're ready for November 28th. We got some amazing fighters. Roy Jones Jr., obviously. Little Wayne's performing, so I'm excited about that. He, he was on Idol growing up, so it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an awesome night. Dyson vs. Jones, live on pay-per-view. Featuring musical performances. French Montana, Lil Wayne, YG, Wiz Khalifa. National Anthem performed by Neo. Watch me November 28th knock out Nate Robinson live on pay-per-view. I'm a real pro boxer. I did everything I really wanted to do in boxing. I got the middleweight, super middleweight, right here to end it. So I wonder what I can make history doing. Roy is probably the most gifted athlete ever in any sport. I'm a huge fan of him. And Mike Tyson, you know, is Mike Tyson. He's the baddest man on the planet. You know, I'm excited to be part of this. It's a huge blessing. I'm gonna go in there and show, show my opponent that it's level to this, so be ready. I wanna showcase my abilities. I wanna show, you know, Mike Tyson and Roy Jones. I mean, it's an honor to be in the, in the undercard with them. So I wanna show them, you know, what hard work looks like, and you know, from a professional athlete as a basketball player coming across and over to Boston. Everybody's credentials is gonna go out the window. When those lights are on, it's gonna boil down to who got the heart, who wanted more, you know, and, and I feel as though, man, when people fight me, I'm built for pressure, man. Like, I'm built for pressure, and some people are not. You know, they're gonna learn very quickly that picking me for this fight was the wrong decision. Body Jack has never faced or even shared the ring with a man of a caliber like myself. I fought eight world champions back to back. So I mean, caliber he don't is deserve level, to man. be on this stage. He gave him an opportunity, so I mean, you should show a little respect. You're gonna fight a real athlete and for who the have first you time in your life. And who have you fought? You fought nobody. Don't worry, I ain't fight nobody. I fight you. you I'm gonna fight you. you <laughs> I'm gonna suck. beat your ass. Chris, this time, and I'm gonna give you everything you asked for. I'm Thank you. Boss, baby. Appreciate Woo! it. That's all he does is yap. The problem is though, is I'm gonna be bouncing his head off the canvas. That's the only thing that's gonna be dribbling on November 28th, baby. Dyson vs. Jones, live on pay-per-view. When I hear Roy Jones Jr., I think fast, speed, left hooks. Good hook by Jones! Dancing in the Who would you like to go up against? When I first think of Mike, an absolute animal. Knockout power, flashy, legend. The uppercut, body shot, When he came in and he was wearing the towel over his neck, and he didn't even have a robe, okay? And he didn't have socks, and he had the high top boxing shoes that were black. And he just came and he was kind of like stalking, him, like walking down his prey. You can just kind of pounce on it. In your mind's eye, you can still you can you can still see it. You can still feel that. Okay? Well, that hasn't happened in the heavyweight division since Mike Tyson, where a guy can just walk into the ring and create that world. Yes, I want to see that. I'm Jim Gray. I'll see you on November 28th at the Staples Center. Tyson against Jones. You'll have digested your Thanksgiving dinner. You'll have the leftovers, and now the main event. Tune in 28, you'll see how it goes. You buy the ticket, Mike Tyson, Roy Jump, buy it.
really deep down inside and in our subconscious, the stuff that we're doing is worth dying for. This is what we're made to do. This, this is worth dying for. What's unique about Mike as a heavyweight is his speed and, and, and his power. Roy knows that. Mike is deadly dangerous the whole time he's on two feet. You gotta be willing to get up every morning. Five o'clock, hit that road. You're gonna have that extra motivation. You know what it's called? Fear. Mike Tyson has won it! Do you worry about Roy getting knocked out? No. When I talk about him fighting Mike Tyson, I believe Roy would beat him in his prime. People don't understand, not only am I a good boxer, I can fight too. I just didn't have to do that much in my career. They don't even know that part of me exists because I never had to use it. This time, I'd probably be forced to use some of it that I never had to use because you're dealing with a much bigger man, a much bigger specimen. Roy Jones. Mention that name and you're gonna talk about excellence. Mention that name, you talk about a champion. Mention that name, everybody knows that pound for pound, he was considered for a long period of time best person in boxing. It is over. Roy Jones Jr. has defended. He had the moniker of pound for pound, the greatest fighter in boxing. So you have a dangerous fighter, you have a smart fighter. Well, some, of, some of the tools that we're going to use, I'm going to keep hush hush. I really, I know it's going to put a monkey wrench in anything that they're gonna to try to do. It's really gonna give them a lot of trouble. And like I said, without giving up too much. We gotta seek and destroy, cause he's not gonna stand still and uh, slug it out with Mike. And uh, you know, he's gonna run like a thief. The fighters get in there and they run around like a thief. Uh, the bottom line is Mike will seek and destroy. My mentality is just what it's always been. I mean, and I like Fucking look at I that. mean, he's gonna bring the pressure. I mean, what other way does he fight? He's gonna bring the pressure. He's not gonna try to outbox Roy. Mike Tyson, Roy Jones, I mean, it doesn't get any bigger than that. Roy has to be the matador, but you know, in this fight, you know, like I say, a matador has a cape, but Roy has dynamite in his hands. Everybody talks about Mike's knockout power. Roy has more knockouts than Mike Tyson. I mean, Mike is not coming and putting pressure on a guy that can't hurt him as well. Roy's got multi-dimensions to be able to deal with Mike. That's <laughs> my mouth, son. Preparation has been very difficult. Staying focused is even harder. Kids, fighters you're training, you have everything going on around you. It's very difficult to focus, but you must somehow. And when you find a way to focus, you gotta learn how to find a way to stay focused. Cause focusing is one thing, but staying focused is another. What better element to make me hold my focus than Mike Tyson? If two fighters getting in the ring, two champions, nobody's gonna lay down, nobody's gonna roll over, nobody's gonna let the other person look better. Two fighters that are highly competitive, both have mad egos, and they know. <laughs> both of them are going to prove that they are champions. Roy Jones is pound for pound uh, one of the all-time greats. Uh, he presents major trouble, major problem. It's obvious I'm not a stalker and that I'm capable of doing really bad things to people that they upset me. Well, i beat my guys. When he beat John Ruiz, I knew then he could beat any of the mother heavyweights. They knew it. It's astounding to me to see. I'm looking at Roy training like he was training for Montel or Thomas Tate. I see that look again. Focus, <laughs> moving well. I mean, just, we got a game plan. It's just a trip getting your ass kicked. Like somebody come to take his title. November 28th, Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr. Live pay-per-view, baby. Watch it. Be there. Well, we've graduated from uh, the hard work, hitting the bag, doing the pad work. He's at one with Coach Raphael. It's all becoming second nature. This is the final stage in preparation uh, towards building towards fight night. It escalates. Somebody lands a punch, a snapping jab. Somebody lands a punch with a little bit bad intention on it. All of a sudden, it starts escalating, and next thing you know, you've got a full-blown fight happening. It's going to be a lot more heated and a lot more substance. I mean, a boxer like Roy Jones, you have to be prepared to sustain it from beginning to end. I got one with Mike. That's what we're going to do with Mike. I'm back. And Mike's going to have excellence that is going to bring the best out of both fighters. It's going to be a thrilling, exciting fight.